hello everyone welcome to restoring ghettos forgotten daughters and i'm not going to be long i'm only going to take a few minutes because i'm sitting outside the gym about to go into one of my barbell classes um, because it's like something that i really enjoy and it's something that keeps my cardiovascular health up and overall helps me to be a stronger and and you know um exercise creates endorphins that put you in a better mood so if anybody's struggling with uh, feelings of depression or especially right now during the pandemic you know things can be a little hard on us so i recommend just trying to fit in a little exercise routine before you start you know well after your prayer time that's if you pray uh, a little exercise because so, that's only going to help your day become brighter and brighter and brighter so that's what i'm trying to do today but i wanted to shoot a little video because there's like something really on my mind and something that I just wanted to share. It's gonna be a conversational piece, so it's not like it's gonna be in some type of order or anything because I don't have long and I just wanted to get it out. But this past week and I celebrated my daughter Paris's sweet 16 birthday and uh, I actually started preparing for it um, maybe like a month ago because I had to make so much preparation and uh, but that's not it. I, I, this topic today is just gonna, gonna be about us learning how to co-parent and not necessarily just co-parent, but to be able to engage um, both sides of the family spectrum, like the mother side and the father side effectively and efficiently so that our children can have, can learn how to engage people in a healthy and an effective manner. And if us adults, if we can't do that, then that kind of makes it harder on our children but so uh, this video, I'm just gonna share a little bit what experiences that I've went through and just to hope to help us out, tell people know that there are uh, better ways of handling each other. But this past week, when I tell you guys, I had some of the most negative energy come at me while I was planning, finalizing my daughter's birthday, Sweet 16. And I believe I know who that person is or who the people are um but it was like non-stop like from the time i wake up in the morning to when it's time for me to go to bed negative energy i feel negative energy and i feel positive energy but when i have negative energy coming to me it's coming to me from the left and i really don't know who it's coming from but i can feel it and it's a force and it's a, a, a very ugly deep like dark force but it's just depends on how negative that person is. I can actually feel their energy. I know some people say that, but guys, it's true. You can really feel another person's energy, especially if it's really, really strong. And when I say all week, I felt the energy of that person or the people. And I was mentioning to someone, I said, I don't know why when I wake up in the morning, I got so much negative, I feel so much negative energy. I'm like, I haven't even woke up yet. So I haven't had time to offend anyone or to do anything crazy. So I don't know where all this negative energy is coming from, but it's there. And so uh, what people don't understand is that I have a personal relationship with God. So when I first start my day, that's in prayer time, that's in dedication, you know, that's our time, our communication, that's how we commune and I pray and I listen and you know I feel God's presence and so I'm asking for protection and covering over myself and over my family so when I get out of that prayer closet I'm straight so that negative energy is going to be repelled because I'm going to always be coming from a try to be coming from a positive place now there are certain situations that people put you in that may give you negative energy and you have to immediately turn that energy around into something positive. So when I tell you guys it was nothing but negative energy and I'm like, oh my God, this person really does not, I mean, how could this person or these people have a life? If you got time to hold on a fester that much negative energy about somebody that's not even thinking about you, then you have a problem. And I pray for you. I pray for all people that wake up in the morning and think something negative about another human being. Especially if that human being has not spoken to you in a while, has not did anything to you, has not said any negative thing about you. Let it go, release. You know, that's, that's a lot of times why we're so unhealthy in our bodies because we're so unhealthy in our minds and our spirit. 
we're just unhealthy and we need to stop being that way towards people even if somebody has walked away from you and you feel like they didn't give you the closure that you needed you may not ever get that closure but why hold on to that negativity to where it's going to only destroy you because it's not going to destroy them they may not even be thinking about you no more let it go but i wanted to share this because i have i kind of kind of got an idea of what's going on and i won't mention the particulars but um there's been a time that um i had to walk away from some people and it wasn't like it's something that i wanted to do but i had to walk away because they were no longer healthy for me now in my past because I hadn't healed and that I was toxic myself. You know, I may have done things that attracted those people into my life and into my situation and, and gave me some of that, you know, they met me where I was, in other words. I admit, and if all of us need to admit, there's a time in our lives where we weren't that positive and that we were toxic and negative ourselves. So we're gonna attract those people. But there comes a time where you evolve and you change and you allow God, you, you ask God to redeem you and to heal you and purge you of anything that's not of him. And so when you go through the purging, and first of all, purging is not comfortable. It's the most uncomfortable thing you could ever do because you're admitting to God that you're flawed and you need him, you need his help. And so there's certain areas that we took way down deep inside of us we took it down deep and we don't want nobody to touch it not even god we we're like no i don't want to deal with that i don't want to think about that we don't talk about that i don't want to deal with it and then but it's still internally embedded into our psyche and and, and until we allow god to purge that we're going to be walking around with that negative energy and what I think people don't understand is the fact that you can't fake energy. Like energy is energy. You can't fake it. Like you could be walking around here bubbly and oh, da, 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 you're just cracking all these jokes and you're just smiling there, cheesing in everybody's face. And then they'd be like, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's something about her. It's something about him that ain't right because energy cannot be faked. Another thing, a lot of us equate I, I see a car backing up <laughs> right on my tail. I'm like, okay, just don't hit me. Okay. Um, excuse me for being distracted. But um, I think that sometimes we think we can fake it by how well we do, like successfully, like educationally, materially, financially. You know, we get all these big accolades and, you know, we think that's what success really is and to a certain extent it may be but not it's not the overall realm of success being a successful person mean that you're healthy and you're whole enough to handle other human beings that you are attached to or that like your family members or your friends or your loved ones you want to be healthy enough to handle them uh, like they deserve because i think a lot of times we we try we I don't want to put this the right way. Sometimes we we get arrogant enough to believe that we're better than other people. And so because we have this superiority complex, we feel like we can treat other people that we believe is beneath us, you know, badly. Like we can just treat them any kind of way. They're just going to accept it because, you know, we are superior. We have arrived. We have all this success. Oh, whoa, look at me. But I tell you what, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how many accolades you own materially, whatever the case may be. If you don't know how to love somebody that God has given to you and put into your life to care for, you have done nothing at all. Sorry to tell you that, sis. Sorry to tell you that, bro. I don't care what you got in your 401k. I don't care how long you've done what you've done. If you don't know how to love your child, if you don't know how to love your daughter or your son, if you don't know how to love your mother or your father, if you don't know how to love your friend that's always had your back, if you don't know how to love your husband or your wife, then you have done nothing, 
nothing. And I said all this because it all boils down to our energy and the energy that we admit and how healthy and whole we are internally. Because, you know, the mind is something else. The mind will have you thinking that people are against you that aren't against you. And it's one of the reasons why there's a lot of women out there that have been murdered and killed by men because they never worked with their, they never dealt with their trauma. And in their mind, they dreamed up that the woman was cheating or she was doing whatever he thought she was doing that she really wasn't doing all because of it, it was in his mind and his psyche and his spirit. A lot of times relationships have to end because those people will not change their internal being. It doesn't matter how good you look. It doesn't like, again, your aesthetics, everything doesn't matter if you got an ugly soul or ugly spirit. So I pray for the people that I felt all the negative energy from, uh, from this past week. I've already prayed for you. I pray that God cleans your heart and that he helps you to forgive the people that you believe that have hurt you. I pray for you. I pray for you to release all of that negativity, all of that bad stuff that's inside of you so that you can actually walk in the right way, the way that God intends for you to walk, the way that God intends for you to example him. He wants to be examples of him. How can we be examples of him if we're hating on somebody else? And another thing, we don't have to agree with each other to respect each other and to be in right relationship with each other. If I don't have to agree with your life, you don't have to agree with mine, but we need to respect and mutually respect one another. That's what this thing is about. And being in a right relationship with another person has nothing to do with manipulation. I'm the person, I'm the type of person, anybody know me, as kind, as generous that I, I, I can be and forgiven as I can be. I cannot stand a liar or a manipulator. If I find out you lied to me and you're trying to manipulate me, I may not ever speak to you again. Now I'll forgive you Especially if you've done it more than once. Because I believe in forgiving people. I think people make mistakes. But if you commit that same offense towards me time and time again, eventually I'm going to say, okay, that's just who you are. And I need to accept that and walk away and deal with people that know how to treat me. Like-minded people. And I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to move on with my life. But I'm not going to harbor any negative emotions and say, oh, you know what? She did me like this and repeatedly three times and I just hate her and I just wish her, you know, everything bad happened to her. No, not Marion. No, because I know whatever energy I put out, I get back. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to move forward in my life and I'm going to do and I'm going to be the woman that God is calling me to be. So with that said, the negative energy that was put out this week and if you're really in tune with your body, which I'm, I think most of us are, you're going to feel that negative energy and you got to kind of discern where it's coming from. But for me, I always ask God for clarity. And so when I pray about something, he'll show it to me. And then people are so, they're so arrogant that they'll let you know that they're doing something or they'll let you know it's them. It, it's just so stupid to me. But they will. Like they'll do something as petty as screenshots and, and screenshot something and send it to somebody or just something really, really petty. But they're, they don't know that like they're putting their fingerprint on it. And it's like, you know, chick or bro, I already knew that you were against me. So now you just kind of sealed it. So I'm good. But that's clarity. The Lord always reveals when people have ill will or ill intent towards you. He all it, it can be a conversation. It could be, for some reason, I get the, uh, when people do me wrong or, or they're trying to deceive me or anything, I've had, I've, I've been in a relationship before, before with, a, with a man 
that was cheating on me every time he was with the other woman he would butt dial me you know stupid stuff like that bro was stupid okay that's one instance and then i get the little text messages that was supposed to go to somebody else that actually goes to me stupid but that's god's way of letting you see those people don't mean you well they don't mean you well and how many times are you going to have to go through these situations with these same people before you realize they're no good for me i'm going to let them go and it's something about healthy boundaries we have to learn how to have healthy boundaries i talk about this a lot because i think in the african-american community we were taught so much about forgiveness but we were never taught about anything about boundaries like to have healthy boundaries is it's it's self-preservation like it preserves you we were never taught that never we were told it was okay for people to beat us rape us kick us spit on us wipe their feet on us and all and we had to forgive you know molest us and we had to forgive them and we still had to co-mingle with them we had no choice and that's a lie from hell anybody that maliciously hurt you over and over again you don't ever have to deal with them again you need to forgive them to free yourself but you don't have to deal with them again so we've been taught unhealthy boundaries we haven't been taught healthy boundaries that's one of the things that i had to go back and do i had to go back in my adult life and go back and learn healthy boundaries and i did by reading a num numbers of books and by getting uh counseling and all those things so i had to work through a lot of the stuff that was happening to me because i didn't have healthy boundaries now i hey i demand people handle me the way I'm gonna cuz I'm gonna treat you like you know like you like I, I mean I'm gonna treat people the way I like I want to be treated so I'm gonna always handle you with respect I'm not gonna lie to you I'm gonna be honest even if it pisses you off if you ask me something I'm gonna be honest to you on and real with you and authentic with you I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna tell you what you want to hear and it's okay because I think we need more friends like that I've had people pull my tail, you know, my, my coattail and say, hey, hey, you don't, don't do that. You don't need to do that. And then I take a step back and say, yeah, you know what, you're right. There's nothing wrong with corrective criticism. It actually may make us better. So, I mean, I can't be on here much longer. Like I said, I'm out here outside by the gym and I need to get in there and get in, in my class. But I just wanted to say, I wanted to share with you guys some I like to sometimes I like to have conversational pieces so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. But yeah, that was my challenge of last week. It was it wasn't hard putting it together, but it was just I felt so much um negative energy and forces like trying to come against me while I was trying to get this set up for for my my baby, my precious baby. I did the same thing for my daughter Sierra, the sweet 16 celebration. Most parents do it. Um, but it was just so negative going up to that point and I know who the people or the person or the people are and all I can say is that I pray for you I pray a release I pray forgiveness for you in your heart in your spirit in your mind and that you'll be able to move on in a healthy manner and so this message was me to share a little bit about some of the things that I have went through this past last week but also to encourage you uh, to make sure you you're putting out um, positive energy and so in other words that I mean how you start your day is extremely important whether it be meditation prayer you have to give you have to have a heart of gratitude to your maker whoever that may be start off with gratitude start off with your communication with God to start your day and ask God to remove some of those things that may not be good in you and to so that you can go out in the world in a positive and a, a more up, upbeat manner and make sure we're loving people and treating people the right way um so that was my life experience and i'm so over it to where you know i'm like i just want to be left alone i don't bother anybody i don't wish no ill will on anyone and i just don't understand why some people have so much ill intent towards me, but then it's spiritual. 
I think people don't realize it. It's very spiritual. They don't understand. They think they're so high and mighty. Some people are so high. They're way up here. They have everything they need. But they don't realize they're missing the most important part. part and that's the internal self. Like, you got to work on that that person so that you can be who God is calling you to be. And then if you don't believe in God or if you don't have a God, that's on you. But you can't force people or try to manipulate people to benefit you, especially if they're, you know, if they are of God and if they follow God. And so I have to go. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and just to, to kind of encourage you all that I know that sometimes we wake up when we're not in the right mood. But we have to change the energy. Sometimes when I when I realize that I woke up in a negative way and, and I have negative energy on me, I pray it off of me. And I speak to the Lord. I say, Lord, change my change my perception this morning. Change my thoughts and change my energy. And as I go out into the day, my day improves and I become a better person. So that's what this video is about. It's it's about how do you tackle um negative energy how do you tackle people that may just not like you there's always going to be somebody that just don't like you like you don't ever have to do anything to that person for that person to just look at you and say i don't like that person and somebody be like why don't you like that i just don't like her or i just don't like him man i don't know what's wrong with that you know what that is if they've never if you've never physically really did anything to that person that's spiritual they don't even know they don't know that that you're irritated by their spirit or or their demons are irritated by yours it's just it's spiritual we got to deal with our inner man y'all we, we got to deal with that person i'm telling you and so i just encourage us to get healthy and whole that's what our videos are about because uh restoring ghettos forgotten is aimed towards the people that you know grew up in situations that may not have been very positive and we may have learned a lot of our religion wrong, incorrectly, and it set the standards or it set the stage for us. And now we got to relearn all this stuff. But guess what? We're smart people. We can do it. We can change our thoughts so that we can ultimately change our lives and just be great people. So I want you guys to go out there and be great and fantastic. Anybody that's harmed you grant them forgiveness not for them but for you so that you don't hold on into any negative energy on any negative animosity and because you're going to attract what you put out so always try to keep it light and right you guys i'll talk to y'all later bye bye love you